Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus, here with another episode of Test Pack Please Ignore 2. So at the end of my last episode, I had been working on a little bit of Thor Mechanogistics, so I managed to make myself the Arcane Crafting Terminal, with the ability to swap armour and store wands. And, um, <clears throat> and yeah, we'd hit a bit of a roadblock, mostly because... Uh, I couldn't do some of the research, and I found out the reason why, and that's because I'm missing some of the stuff in Artifice. So, I think the main thing that I'm missing is Warded Glass. Now, I think somebody said that it's uh, near Warded Arcana, so if I start doing some research, uh, we should be able to find it. So, let me see what we've got. So, we've got Instrumentum and tu Tutamen. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. So, we can do the Instrument uh, then, and that is made up of Ordo and and we'll drop in a potential like so. We've also got Mechanica, which again is linked through Instrumentum or it's linked through Motus. So Motus, again, we can just do this through the Auto and the Potentia and then the Auto. And then finally, we've got Cognito. So we've got um, Spiritus, Mortus, um, Victus, uh, trying to, try to find uh, a kind of a, a common link around here somewhere. So, what else have we got? We've got the oh, okay, we've got Ignis actually. So, let me drop down an Ignis there, and then one of you, and then finally a Potentia. There we go. Is that all linked up? Nope, we need another Potentia right there. There we go. Perfect. Let's eat you, see if we found Warded Glass. Um, no, we have not. Um, so yeah, it should be around here somewhere, but uh, oops, a daisy. I don't know which one it is, unless it's Arcane Levitator, so Great Wood Planks, nope, this is not what we're looking for, Arcane Pressure Plate, oh no, we have found Warded Glass, excellent, so it looks like, um, so Warded Arcana, some experimentation has led to interesting discovery, uh, discovery, the ability to imprint memories in inanimate objects, your first attempt at using the discovery is doors, pressure plates and other blocks that remember who placed them, the door can only be removed with a wand by a person who placed it, additionally the door refused to open for anyone but its owner, ah, right, I see, so basically we've got like keys which we can give to people, um, and then um, we've got like an arcane work, but so we've got an arcane pressure plate, which will only work for certain people. And then we've got the warded glass. So let's have a quick look back at Formic Energistics. We have now found digital set, digi, digi sensor storage, but we're still missing some things. So I think one thing that I might also be missing, if we go to alchemy, is that I never did the sensor tubes, so which we've just bought apparently. And then we've also got essential crystallization. So. We've got the research note for that. So yeah, we've got this. So let me go back down to the energistics. It still hasn't unlocked that particular section. But we've also got advanced essential tubes. So we need some permutatio to get that, which I believe is, yeah, auto and um, there we go. Auto and perditio. I just want to check something. Did I ever actually scan in all of these nodes over here? Because I could do, seriously do with a boost in some of these things. I did not scan that one. Okay, so what else have we got? Come on, let me in. There we go. Never scanned that one. Uh, scanned you. Did not scan this one, so that gives us 94 extra auto. I did scan you, however. And I did not scan you. So that just gives us a nice boost of um, all, all, the, all the things we we're missing, getting low on. So say, for example, we've now got... I thought that was going to give us like a big boost of auto, but apparently not. Whatever. Uh, but we've got the essential crystallization, so I want to see if this gets actually gets us anywhere. So we've got vitreous, um, which I think I'm probably going to link. Uh, let's go up to what else have we got? So vitreous is auto, and okay, so this we can link fairly easily. So what we could then do is if we go to auto there, auto there, we can link this up with uh, more vitreous. I think would be quite a good idea. We've then got precantatio, so what we can then do is do auto and potential, I think. There we go. I mean, then we just need to link up this water one. So I'm thinking if we link it up with water and aqua, get some Victus. Uh, so what we can then do is Terra to Victus to water. There we go. What am I not linking up here? Oh, is it this? Uh, I can't see what's not being linked. Oh, is it here? It's, it, it, it's, it's right there. So let's just drop in a potential, for example. We'll eat you, which should unlock. So we, oops, a daisy. We now need our Thormanomicon back out. So we've got a, a, advanced sensor tubes and alchemical centrifuge to take things apart. Is this unlocking anything down here? Now I still can't seem to unlock this one. We do have digi sensor 
transportation. So moving essentially digitally, which is what we want. So I'm guessing that's like import and export nodes, which is good. We're still missing something here though. So I don't know where that's going to be. Uh, maybe the alchemical centrifuge. Well, do we buy that or do we get a research note? We've got a research note. So let's do the research real quick. So I just want to be a bit more central there. Don't know why. It's just my um, OCD playing up there. I don't really have OCD. I'm just saying it's an OCD. But uh, what have we got here then? Fabrico. Um, let's have a quick look. So that is Instrumentum. Um, let's drop a Permutatio, which will get us to an Ordo. And then I think we can then do Instrumentum to that one. We'll do the same the other way, I think. Oops, Daisy. Do not mean to do Tempestus there. Um, so let me have a quick look around. So I think we need some more Instrumentum. So, oops, Daisy. Let's make you up. There we go, perfect. So I think we can go to you, to you, to Potentia, back to Ordo. Perfect, and then we just need to do Precantatio, which is fairly straightforward. So we're just gonna combine all of you together like so. That gets us the alchemical centrifuge. Gotta remember what that actually does. So automated alchemy, alchemy for the masses. So is this getting me anywhere? It doesn't appear to be getting me anywhere, so I may have to go and do some more research. So let's have to do this DigiSentry transportation first. We'll try it all out in a second. So I just want to go back to here. So we've got alchemy. So we're doing all of this, which is... So tense tubes is what allows us to um, move Essentia around. They've got, again, got the alchemical centrifuge. is a wonderful invention that allows you to break Essentia into its component parts. When component Essentia flows into the centrifuge from below, it will sl be slowly broken down into the primal or compound aspect. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we could then break down, for example, if we've got loads and loads of... Um, what have I got a lot of that I don't really need? Uh, not Ignis, because that is a primal aspect. So something like, I don't know, Precantatio, we could break that down into kind of like its component aspects using the centrifuge, which is kind of interesting. But let's go back to the Energistics and see what we can find there. So we've got Digital Transportation. So let's have a quick look at this. So what do we need to do for you? Um, so, okay, this is fairly straightforward. So um, we can drop the Motus in there, which gets us to Ordo. We then also need... Um, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the gears, aren't I? Oh, the gears gone. Oh, there we go. So I need Machina, which we can get from Motus. And then I can't get what combines um, Ordo and Air, for example. Ah, Motus. What am I doing? So yeah, Motus could go in there, and then we could combine you up with uh, an Air, for example. We then also got Metallum. So let me just have a quick look what we can use to make Metallum. More Ordo, I think. So I'm going to have to go find some more Ordo things to scan at some point because I'm starting to run a little bit low on it. So Metallum is... We'll drop it into Vitreous and then maybe another Motus in there linked by an Ordo. Yep, that makes sense. And then finally, oh, we've already got a Vitreous there. So we may as well just go Ordo, Potentia, Ordo, boom. So let's see, what, what did that unlock us? So we've got um, DigiSense transportation. So now you know how to digitize Essentia, it's time to put that knowledge to work. So import and export. So by binding the appropriate core to an Essentia tube and chamber, you're able to move Essentia in and out of the storage network. The use of the filter tubes allows you to specify what areas are allowed to be transferred. Combining the import and export buses into a single device allows you to use external external essential containers as network storage as well as storage the bus can also be used to remove excess essential from the network by using a void jar or me condenser if using a void jar you must select the allow void button in the gui okay so we must get an essential import bus an essential export bus and an essential storage bus that's pretty cool so what we can now do is basically put um essential import and export buses onto our uh, like arcane uh, arcane alembic and the alchemical furnace which is pretty cool so what else we got essential provider asking you shall receive but we probably want to do the the actual storage of the essential as well so we can actually start putting some making up some uh cells which will store the essential for us so we've got metallum we've got vacuous so what makes vacuous again air and um let's have a quick look around so we've got metallum which is vitreous so okay we can probably do vitreous to terra was it yeah terra to vitreous to terra there we go uh what we then need to do is auto to 
is Potentia to Auto. Yep, that links up. And then finally, we've got to get across to Vacuous. So let me have a quick look. So Vacuous is Pedicio and Air. So maybe I want to link up the Potentia with, say, for example, we could go for like Lux. That's not right. Um, what we need to do is do Air to Lux to Potentia. That's not right. To Fire, wherever my Ignis has, Ignis has gone. There we go, Ignis. And then um, I think we need to make some more Lux would be a good idea. So we're putting another Lux in there and then join you up with another Air. Perfect. Okay, so let's make this up. So let's have a quick look what we've managed to make. So basically, digital essential storage. So upon inspecting ex existing digital storage mediums, you've concluded that in fact, digitize you can you can in fact store digitized essential by infusing certus quartz with the concentrated essence. It will again. Uh, Gain the ability to store the essential, which remains remarkably active even in digital form. You conclude that the higher the concentration of essence, the more it should be able to store, although there are inherent limits to how much quartz itself can store. So to store the essential in its digital format, non-operational non unless a cell casing is used to interface with the digital network. So what do we need to make here? So we need to make, say for example, we've got 1k of essential storage, and then we can build that up to like 4k, I think. And we've got the ME storage housing, or just combine it all together to make uh, a storage cell and then we've also got an essential cell workbench so oh yeah that's, that's basically so we can specify what essential is stored in what area so let's start by going 4k essential there we go so 4k essential storage so first of all we're going to need to make the 1k of essential storage so can we make this so we need two lots of ethereal essence and four lots of certus quartz okay what are we missing from that let me just double check this again uh, oh, quartz glass. So let me just make up some quartz glass real quick. Um, uh, where, what are we looking for? Glass, 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 glass. What am I missing? Quite clear glass. That's not right. I must be missing something here. Uh, let me have a quick look. So what, why am I missing some of my glass? Let's have a quick look. So glass. Why the hell is it not showing up over there? That's really weird. I'd, oh yes, this isn't a crafting one, is it? So um, it's an arcane crafting terminal. So I don't think I can actually do stored craftable. No, that's really weird. I don't know why that'd be showing up over here, but not over there, which is kind of bizarre. But hey ho. Uh, so let's just make um, ten of you. What am I missing? Quite clear glass. Okay. So we're going to, need to get some sand. There we go. So we need to go over to the alloy smelter. So I think I need to sort out my glass recipe, I think. I've done something weird with it. So let me give a quick look at glass again. So quartz glass, what oh, I'm missing, quite clear glass and quartz glass. Yes, I think it's just all. Um, it's just I've used, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I've used quartz glass when I should be using quite clear glass. So let me do something quick. So let me grab my armor just so I can actually fly in here. So I'm looking for quartz glass. There we go, quartz glass. So what I want to do is actually clear you, put you, oops, a daisy, um, empty cell is what we need to get back out. And what we're looking for, blank pattern, not empty cell, blank pattern, there we go. So we've got a few of you and we need to go for quartz glass like so. So we need to shift click you in and instead of quite clear glass, we just want ordinary glass i think because we have that automatically in the system i believe do we uh i thought we did do i not have it automated to make oh no i don't have it automated to make glass yet do i right that was uh, that was me being a dull, big old dummy then so yeah i just remembered that basically um i haven't actually automated glass yet in terms of my me system so that would be why it's um not doing this so let's put you into there Let's just make some quartz glass now. Can I make it? There we go. So it's going to make that up. We'll just keep grabbing glass from there. Just grab all this out and put it into my ME system. Let's turn you into Quicksilver. There we go. Drop everything else that we don't need inside. Perfect. Right, where were we? So we needed quartz glass. There we go. Boom. Why is that not crafting up? What am I missing? So let's go back to 4K essential storage. 
Uh, we needed um, 1k, which is yeah, quartz with ethereal essence. What am I missing? Um, I'm just going to use bog standard third quartz there, I think. Uh, do, do, do. Am I using charged? I'm using charged as well. That's kind of random. Although I've I've actually got a lot more charged certus quartz than I do um, ordinary certus quartz. So did did it, and then what am I missing? Is it quartz glass or am I missing something else? Uh, no, it's a logic processor, isn't it? Ugh. My God. Uh, so apparently I can't craft things from this one, which is kind of bizarre. I have no idea why, but uh, let's go back to processor. So let's craft up twenty of you. There we go. Shouldn't take too long. So yeah, it's just going into the system. So it's crafting them up. So if we go over to the, over to here, we'll see them all crafting up like so, nice and quick. Look at each blip because we've got this nice and automated, which is sweet. Um, so let's grab some processors. So, so how many do we need for four K? So we need three of you to make a four K one. So make a few multiple ones, I think. So, so we need one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to need to get some more uh, ethereal essence from somewhere. I'm going to have to go around and destroy a load of nodes, I think, at some point. Oh my god, we need more, don't we? Uh, one. I'm out of ethereal essence. So let me find some nodes. So what I'm going to do is just um, grab my goggles of revealing, put them on like so, store you there. Okay, so I've got goggles of revealing on and I've got my jetpack working. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is just sleep for the night. So let's go do that. And then I need to go and destroy some nodes, I think. Because basically we're almost out of ethereal essence. And the best way of doing that is just to get nodes. I would like to do it with... Um, don't destroy the one over here. I must have destroyed the one over here. Okay, that's rather frustrating. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around, destroy some nodes, get some more ethereal essence. And I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So I went and found a load more ethereal essence. So I think we should be able to then finish off our essential stories. So we've got a little bit here, which isn't too bad. So let me head over to the hub, drop some essential storage into... Ah, no, because this isn't actually a completed cell, is it? So what I need to do is... I'm sure I made enough of these to make four lots of 4K essential storage. So what am I missing? So one... 1k me storage that's not good enough so i think i need a bit more here so one two oh, what am i missing um quartz what am i missing from here oh my is my wand out no my wand is not out ah, it's out of ignis let me just oops today he's throwing that away there we go there we go don't want to lose them they're expensive Oh, I've just realised as well that uh, I've actually been uh, not doing this with the correct equipment on. So let me just swap out you for you. And then we can just go flick. There we go, swap it back. So yeah, I really do need to come up with some better way of doing this. Is that all recharged? It is all recharged. Excellent. I think there's a way later on to actually do this automatically. So actually have your wand be deposited into a wand recharging pedestal using... Um, uh, using the URME network, which is kind of cool. So, one, two, three. So, can that, well, I'm going to make one of you. It does. So, we've got three of you, which is good. And then we need to put you back into the system so we can turn you into this. Do we have any th uh, thormium? No, we do not. So, it looks like we need to make some thormium as well. Let's go back to alchemy. So, thormium is iron with precantatio. So, uh, we need iron. There we go. And then we need Precantatio. So let's double check where I get that from again. So Precantatio, we get it from shards or ender pearls. So it looks like I'm going to get some ender pearls. How much Precantatio does that have in it too? So let me get some of you. Also has some other bits and bobs in it, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, so what we need to do is um, let's think about this. So let's go back to alchemy. So we need, what is it? Four precantatio per iron ingot. So we've got one. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We've got one uh, thormium already. So um, let me double check the recipe. My brain's gone completely fuzzy. So we need a 4k essentia. And if I go into here, this should tell me what I need to do. So yeah, crucible iron with four precantatio. So we need eight plus. Um, 
What's what we're looking for? 8 plus 12, so we need 20 precantatio. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Wow, that's really overflowing. And we're going to get back all of you. So I think that's done now. So let me get some cobblestone as well. I really need a better way of doing this. So like getting primal aspects or something from somewhere. But so let's destroy you. It's going to create a lot of taint, but it's not the end of the world. Oops, a daisy. That's going everywhere. Nice to get taint flux, but you know, it'll go away pretty quick. So let me just get rid of all of you. We'll drop back down the crucible. There we go. We need water. I don't know where I've put that. I'll have to go get a bucket at some point, but it's fine. So what we need to do now is boff, boff. And then what else do we need? We need water glass. Ah, so we need to make some water glass as well. So let's clear you out. We need to make water glass. So we got everything for that. Uh, we do, but it's not crafting. What do we need? So we've got, oh, we need great wood planks. Right. Do I have any great wood planks? No. Okay. Do I have any great wood at all? Okay, looks like we're looking for a great wood quick. Is there one near? Oh, that was close. I almost jumped off the edge again like a big old dummy. Let me just make sure I'm swapped to my power armor. So we need to go and find ourselves a great wood tree. I know there's some around here somewhere. So we're just going to see if we can find one real quick. Yeah, I know there's one around here somewhere. I'm just going to cut it down, get a little great wood, and head back. There's one. I knew there was one near my base somewhere. Here it is. One great wood. Excellent. We're just going to cut you all down. Bloody hell. The hell? I heard like something dangerous and I was like literally about to cack myself, but I didn't know where it went. My god. So it made like a horrible noise there and made me jump really badly. I have no idea what it was, but it was terrifying. So we've got lots of great wood from this, which is kind of awesome. There we go. Just gotta find just gotta find it all now. Getting my money's worth here by getting as much of this great wood as possible. This like not wow, this, there is a lot of great wood in this one tree. Gotta suck it all up. There we go. Uh, I might have to come back for this at some point. How much have we got? We've got like almost three stacks worth of just great wood. So yeah, I think we'll kind of get as much of this as possible and then head back. Come on. Want a little bit more and then we'll go. Just want to make sure we've got most of it. For some reason, like the, the, the leaves aren't decaying, which is kind of bizarre, but eh, whatever. I don't really care too much about the leaves. All I needed was the wood. So we're just going to head back to our treehouse. dive downwards here we go let me just grab an apple like so chow down on you switch up to our other armor and then what we need to do is turn you into great wood so that's really weird it's kind of like it's not letting me shift click things which is kind of weird but whatever uh let's put the rest of you in there then we should be able to now do the 4k uh no what am I doing? Yeah, the oh no, we need water glass first, didn't we? Why are you not crafting? What am I missing? Um, work table and am I missing something? I should have all the aspects. I don't know why this is not crafting. This is kind of weird. Um, so let me look at the recipe. So it's glass, unless it's oh, is, is it because I got quite clear glass? It might be that. It might be uh, throwing up some conflicts. Let me get some sand. One, two, lots of sand. We're going to hop over quickly to processing over here. Okay, this is not running right now, so we should be able to just drop you into there. Create bog standard sand and see if that actually gives us what we want. So hopefully this will actually work now. So we're just going to have to kind of wait a couple of seconds for that to process. So let's get some glass. There we go. There we go. Water glass. Perfect. So yeah, it's, it's, it's basically because I'm using, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm using quite clear glass, it doesn't actually work. It has to be vanilla glass for this to work. So we should just make a couple of you and then we should be able to then go one, two, and oh, I forgot about the lot, last of the thormium. Ah, never mind. I'll do that later. So we need to then put the essential storage into here. There we go. So we've got some essential storage. Very nice. So what I can then do is actually start to store all of these different aspects in my ME system, which is kind of sweet. 
Um, do we unlock anything else yet? Let's have a quick look. So, Thormic Energistic. See, so, yeah, I'm going to find out what I'm missing from these particular ones, see what research I need to go down. But uh, I think Essential Provider is what we can actually use to then put it near the arcane uh, crafting terminal to actually export it out. But I think we'll leave that for another episode so I can go away and do a bit more reading. But uh, as always, guys, don't forget to comment and like if you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.